Greetings and welcome to In the Margins, a multimedia project and Minecraft server. I am, as always, in my own world. Thank you for joining me here. My pronouns are they, them, and as a reminder, I have motor and vocal tics. You will hear odd sounds from time to time. Mm -hmm. For more information about the In the Margins project, visit marginallyactive.com. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the new server spawn. No more this old one built in 1.14. Now we have the spawn built with 1.18 world generation. As always, typing slash spawn into chat will teleport you into the spawn room. Spawn chamber, spawn room. It used to be the top of the spawn pyramid, now it's a spawn chamber, so it's not as always. But typing slash spawn into chat will teleport you to spawn. The spawn chamber here has a few odds and ends for you, including the ender chest and a deposit box where you can put items. Because it is a locked chest, locked chest items will not be drawn through by the hopper until the chest closes. From the spawn chamber, you can teleport to the old spawn if you want to. It still has our old nether network and uh, is close to a bunch of old builds. So if you want to go back and check out your old things, or you just want to keep using your old base and this is how you get to it, not a problem. Let's actually just head back straight to spawn. There is also the warp room where there are more of these warp tubes, including a warp back to our old spawn, a warp to the end, a portal to get to the nether. I suppose it's not a warp to the end, it's actually a portal to the end. There are a few other, uh, <coughs> few other places in here, including ones where the teleport uh, pipe has not yet been built, and ones where the teleport pipe has been built. Expect it, to, expect it to expand over time. Excuse me. We also have the town of Spark. There's no town there yet, however. There is certainly a place to build a town. In addition, there is a deposit box. Lights will go on when the public storage is completely full. Uh, and hoppers underneath the chest will be locked and items won't go through. However, here, oops, I will have to fix that. There's a number of things I still have to fix. If you run into any problems at spawn, let me know. Once I have fixed permissions, players will be able to put items into that chest, which will be then sent along uh, through a pipe underneath this rail into the public sorters at spawn. Mm -hmm. This rail is a little bit slow, but it's going to take us along a nice scenic route, and we'll take a look at the sheep and chicken farms on our way back through. So we have a sheep farm. They will eat the grass and be sheared by the dispensers. It might be a good idea every now and then to see if there are still shears in there. Um, okay, cat, you're making this hard on me. Thank you. <laughs> the wool will come through in here. I guess that needs to go there. That needs to go there. That needs to go there. Mm -hmm. A not automatic chicken farm. You were a shepherd. I'm going to have to find, going to have to go and put you back in with the sheep or something. We have a trading village. The villagers are currently waking up, going to bed, chatting. I'm not sure. But it feels like they ought to be out and about. Ah, there. Okay, so it's not work time. When it's work time, they'll come down here and we can trade with librarians and a bunch of other villagers. Um,
What am I doing? Let me go back up to spawn, I guess. Mm -hmm. So public storage is really the biggie. As I said, there is an auto-sorter. And the auto-sorter will sort items into this room. A light means that there is a full chest or something at that location. And the more lights are on, the fuller it is. So over here, we have a stone chest and the shulker box is full. If I were to take a few items out, stuff through. Okay, so it's still full. Let's go ahead and press the red button to break it. Red buttons will break shulkers. Green buttons will place shulkers, as long as there are still empty shulkers in the dispenser. There we are. Your items, your full shulkers can go into the barrel down below. When the barrel below is fairly full, you can press the button down here to release a few items into the shulker silos below. There are signs to remind you of all this. There are also some shulker stations over here. If you want to yourself uh, load up load up some of your own shulkers with a few loose items from various places. If you have items you don't want to hang on to, you can just toss them into the uh, storage pipe here, which will send items through the auto sorter. Items that are not the blocks that are displayed will end up going into the overflow, which has lights to tell you how full it is. And that's actually down here on this floor, where the shulkers are. So shulker storage, full shulker boxes, come down here, and again we have lights to tell you how full the system is. In the corners we have a few items. We have our slime and iron area. Mm -hmm. You may hear a cat meowing shortly if you didn't already hear it the first time. So we have various items, including a lot of fish and a little bit of iron, and some more iron, uh, glow sacks, and some storage areas for it. Um, oh, right, and I was in the process of trying to make another farm there. This spawn will grow, more things will be added. This is bare bones, uh, well, Maybe not this part of it isn't bare bones, but uh, take back my firework rockets, and there's the flesh and the gunpowder, as you see, having gone through. Uh, I also have a corner that has crops. So when this is fixed properly, there will be a couple of farmers who spend some time down here. Uh, anything that grows that I make a farm out of will be down here. So I have not yet made mushroom, sea pickle, uh, kelp, or bamboo farms down here, but I've made pretty much all the others. So we have uh, a bunch of different crops available and some farmers that you can sell some of them to for emeralds. There is a cleric over here who you can sell rotten flesh to. Mm -hmm. And yeah, uh, there's an enchanting table, one floor up, over by these bookcases. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweet it. Yeah. There are also various secrets around that you can attempt to find. Mm -hmm. That will take you around the uh, the island. As I say, there are there's a lot of spawn that nothing has been built in yet. Uh, however, this means there's a lot of spawn with giant holes and areas that players aren't 
really supposed to be in? I mean, they shouldn't be able to mess things up too badly. And if they do, tell me so that I can fix it, please. But, uh, yeah, this is just a place to explore and see and experiment and play and get the resources that you need for uh, for building things elsewhere on the server. I guess I'm just sort of rambling at this point, so there's a whole lot more and I will try to show it to you. As I build it, <laughs> I'll try to give you more detailed videos at a later date. But for now, this is our brand new spawn, finally open to players. I've been working on it for quite some time. And I'm very, very pleased with it. So, happy crafting. <coughs> Talk with it. Panel. 